Hey everyone, today we're gonna do a quick integration into Collect Checkout. Uh, this is a very basic integration. You can obviously do more with it, but I wanted to give you an idea of how quickly you can get up and running with this tool. So what I've got here is a very basic website. Uh, it's just a product that I'm selling and I've got a button here that I want the user to be able to click and start a payment. And so if I'm using Collect Checkout, I can very easily make it so that when they click this button, which currently does nothing, if I click on it, nothing happens, I can make it so that that runs a transaction. And so to do this, I have to do, basically there's four steps. Step one is to create a product in my merchant control panel for this pink skull. Then I need to make a security key that I can use to authenticate Collect Checkout. Then I need to whitelist the URLs that I'll be using with this tool. And then finally, I have to drop in a little bit of JavaScript onto my website to make this all happen. And I'll show you how to do all four of these steps. So first off, we have to go to our merchant control panel. So from here, what we can do is uh, go to other services and product manager. And so if I go into my list of products, I can sell anything from my list of items in Collect Checkout. And right now I only have one product uh, with a SKU of 0001, the pink skull, it's 19.99 with some tax. And if I go into it, I can kind of see the details of it. Uh, there's an image attached uh, that'll show up on the checkout page. So this is what I've got going on that I want to sell. Now that I've got that, I need to go create a security key. So I'm gonna go into my account settings. I'm gonna go to security keys. And then I don't have any setup yet, but I wanna make a public security key. And we describe that here. Uh, checkout keys are used with Clutch Checkout. So I wanna add a public key. I'm gonna call it checkout. I'm going to assign it to my username and then I'm going to select what permissions does it have. This is a checkout key. And so I create this, the page will reload and there we go. So now I have a key. I can copy this and I'll use this in my integration. Next up, we need to go and whitelist some URLs. So I'm going to go back over here to other services, go to click checkout and there will be more here in the future, but right now you can whitelist a URL. So I go into here, and basically, these are the URLs that the customer will be able to be forwarded to from the checkout page. So for security purposes, to make sure that your customers aren't accidentally getting rerouted to websites that you don't want them to go to, we require you to whitelist any domain that they're going to be sent to. So I'm going to add a URL, and this will all make sense once we start doing the integration. And I can just do any HTTPS site that I'd like. And I can enter either the full website, the full URL, or I can enter just the domain. And basically what we'll do is we'll take whatever you give us, if that's the start of the URL, and then if there's other things on, on the back end, that's fine. You basically whitelist as much as you'd like. So for example, if you wanted to whitelist example.com, then you could do this and that'll whitelist example.com. And then you could send a customer to example.com slash receipt. You could send them to slash uh, receipt slash page dot PHP or something. Like you can do whatever you want. Um, and so anything from this domain will be allowed. If you want to be more specific, you could do something like this. And then we'll only allow them to go to that URL. So you can make this basically whatever you want, uh, just as broad or as detailed as you'd like. So that's all you have to do to set up the page. So if we look back at the page that I've got, this is what it looks like. And if I scoot on over here to the code again, this is the code for this page. So not a lot of crazy stuff here. Uh, not a lot of this is super interesting to us, except for this right here. So this prod button, this product button is labeled by now. And so this is what's displaying the button on the page. And obviously with the way it is now, you can click it and nothing's gonna happen. But we wanna make it so that when someone does click it, something does happen. And to make that happen, we need to do two things. Uh, number one, in your header, you're gonna wanna add a script tag that links to the collect checkout file, the JavaScript file, and then you pass it with a checkout key, and that key that we just generated goes here. So there's my public key, and so that's going to authenticate this. Next up, I'm gonna go down to the bottom here, and I'm just gonna paste in a whole lot of code. This is the JavaScript that's going to make everything happen. So what is this doing? Uh, this is very similar to the sample code you can get from the integration portal. But basically what this is doing is it's saying get element by ID, pay button, and when they click on this, run collect checkout, redirect to checkout. And this function will take the customer to the checkout page with the customizations you enter down here. Now the one thing I have to do first is you can see I'm looking for the ID pay button. That's not what I'm using on my website, I'm using prod button. So I'm gonna copy that, 
paste that here instead. And now we're looking for a click on this item, and then it's going to redirect to checkout with some line items. I've got that same SKU and a quantity of one. I could do a quantity of six, three, uh, 1,000, whatever I want. I just wanna do one right now though. You can run a certain type of transaction. So it defaults to a sale, but you can also pass an authorization only if you'd like. Uh, you can add to the customer vault from here as well. So on a successful sale, or in this case an auth, do I want to add the customer to the vault? I can. If I don't want to do the vault, it's optional. I can just remove it. I do want it for this one though. Uh, I can show a receipt on the page. So on the hosted checkout page, I can show a receipt. If I choose not to, then they'll just be redirected straight to my website and I can display a full receipt. We have options for shipping. Shipping will not show by default, but if you do send collect shipping info of true, then we will, of course. And then down here, we have the success URL and the cancel URL. And the success URL is where should we send the customer once they have uh, successfully processed the transaction. And cancel is gonna be where should we send them if they exit out of the page. And so these can, of course, be whatever you want. I've got them configured with our variables. If you want, you can get transaction ID and customer vault ID to be returned in this redirect so that you can use those to dynamically display information on your page. You can use the transaction ID to query on it using our query API to find the details of that transaction and display additional information. But we're just gonna leave it right here. All right, and so I'm gonna save my changes and go back to my website and refresh and now when I click the buy button, it's going to load collect checkout. There we go, and I can see my product, uh, the image, the price, the tax all carries over, and so I can see the amount. I've got a button up here where they can exit the page if they'd like, and that'd send me back to the cancel page. And if I kind of go through here, uh, shipping is available, uh, my card information, this is grayed out until they fill it out, so let's fill out the info. Okay, and now I filled out the page, so I can just hit submit and it's going to process the payment and should approve here in a second. There we go, and then you get a very basic receipt and when they click this back to merchant site, they'll be redirected back to your website and I've got some logic here to make sure that I display the transaction ID. So obviously you could do more with it, you could have a more elaborate website than I had as an example, but hopefully this gives you a good idea of what you can do very easily with Collect Checkout.